together those two long drives. I mean, that's no lineman's dream. And uh, I thought we did a good job of finishing. We had some penalties early on that started to put us back, but we got rid of those in the second half. Max said uh, back in late July in Charlotte and when camp started that he really needed you guys as a group to be tougher. And he said yesterday he believes that, that you guys have gotten tougher and the evidence was Saturday. Absolutely. Uh, all off season that was a huge uh, concern, something we were focusing on, and then going out there and being able to run the ball like that. Uh, all the credit <coughs> to our three running backs, uh, they make our jobs easy. Um, but just being able to stay on blocks and finish like that, uh, I was really proud of our guys. Continuing the Charlotte flashback, remember you talking then about how things were different, you could just feel how different they were. To actually get on the field and see, yeah, they really are different, not just in talk but in action as well. What was that like? Uh, it was great. I mean, a huge thing is confidence and just the whole atmosphere on the sideline going into the fourth quarter was something I hadn't experienced. Um, there was just a belief that we were going to get the job done, um, something that wasn't necessarily there last year with our team. And uh, I think that confidence helped us win the game. Well, what kind of things do you think the group needs to improve on for all you said earlier? Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> continuing to take away penalties because um, that started to get us in some trouble when we were down in the red zone. Um, and then just continuing just to stay on our blocks, know our IDs, and uh, continuing to finish. What do you think about Sam Howell's performance? Um, can you kind of give us a glimpse into the huddle there and how you kind of operate for some of those drives? Yep, yeah, so um, Howell's a quiet guy, but he just oozes confidence. Um, you can just feel that kind of playmaking swag about him. And just being able to see him run around and make plays, I mean, it was awesome. Could you tell the difference once they kind of turned him loose in the second half? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to that, but I, I do. I, I did see him make some great plays in the second half, for sure. Charles, can you just talk about, you know, you, coming into the South Carolina game, people may have thought one thing, and then you actually pulled out the game. Mm -hmm. How does that confidence go forward now to this uh, Miami game coming up here? Absolutely. Um, we set a standard for the season. Um, and we just have to continue to build off that. Miami is a great team, and um, they're going to be a challenge for us this week. So we're excited to put in the work this week and see what we can do. You were honored today with the ACC Offensive Lineman of the Week. You're playing left tackle now. How is that different for you than right tackle, and how do you think that can help you with the way the people at the next level see your game and evaluate your game? Mm -hmm. So I was lucky when I first got here, actually. I was doing a lot of cross training almost every other practice. I was switching off with William Sweet before we both started to play um, and I started to lock in at right tackle. Um, but just having the full spring to be comfortable at left tackle, um, I really don't feel much of a difference, but I do think uh, showing you're able to play both positions can be helpful later on. How often do you think about the NFL? I mean, you obviously see scouts watching you at training camp and stuff. So I think about it a lot. I mean, it's a goal of mine. Uh, to reach, so that's something I've been pushing for every day. Um, but right now, my focus is on beating Miami. So, um, just based, wait, did you have one? No, okay. Based on you know last year's uh, defeat, you know, is this game at, at all any personal? Being really boring, you guys. Absolutely. I think every time you're facing a in conference team, it's it's personal, and it means just that much more. Every game matters, but I mean, there is kind of that rivalry esque about this game, um, and I think everybody's going to be real excited for it. What's the excitement level of the team like playing an you know, night game coming off your first Power 5 opening win since 1997? Oh, everyone's very excited. Um, they're excited to play on this new field under the lights. People can't wait. I think what Jonathan may have been driving at there is that last year's game at Miami, mm -hmm may have been one of the lowest of the low points. Um, how much does kind of showing those guys and, and, and giving a better account of yourself, given what happened there, uh, how much you know, is that talked about or is that even a, an issue? Absolutely. I, I think we are a different team now, but going into this week, we're studying that game, what we did wrong. Obviously, we had a lot of turnovers that game, but we took ourselves out of the game early. They did a great job jumping on us. Um, they're a great team, a great defense. They they play with tremendous energy, uh, so you got to be ready to play. They've got from the 
Better job. I'm sorry. They, they've got some really good linebackers. What else do they do defensively that uh, can be an issue for you guys? Mm -hmm. So third third down is their money down. So they, they like to heat you up on third down. They'll bring a lot of exotic blitzes. Like you said, they have three great linebackers, and they have a great D-line secondary. Um, so they're just flying to the ball every chance they get. So I guess the key here is to not have third and long and make it always third and short so they really can't take advantage of that, right? Exactly. There's a big focus on being successful on first down and second down this week. Was it kind of That's noticeable one. when the staff got here how they have changed their approach as far as just being positive and optimistic about everything all the time? Um, I think the other staff did a great job too being positive, but I, I will say there, there has been a lot of positivity going around the stadium. Um, everybody on the sideline, there was never a dull moment in the game last week. Um, like I said, everyone was confident and believing in ourselves what we could do. Anyone needs Charlie for uh, additional questions? Thanks. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks. Thanks.